If you've ever grabbed onto a moving rope or a moving dog lead, you've probably had what's called a friction burn. This burns the outer layers of the skin and can often be very painful. In cycling, a similar sort of thing happens if you fall off your bike at high speeds. However, these are much more dangerous than your average friction burn. There are many other factors that can come into play after an accident like this. First of all, there's the crash itself. You may have been hit by a fast moving car or you may have just misjudged going round a corner too quickly. The initial impact can be devastating depending on how fast you're going and where and how you land. Once you hit the floor, however, you're skid. This causes a lot of friction, whether that's been between the road and your skin or the road and whatever clothes you're wearing, be it lycra, polyester or just regular clothing. At higher speeds, this friction will be enough to actually break through even some of the stronger clothing, which then causes your skin to come into contact with the road. On any sort of concreted road, there will always be tiny bits of gravel on the surface. When your skin brushes against this, the grit becomes stuck in the wound and this can cause problems. This is what we call road rash. When the outer layers of the skin have come off and commonly bits of grit or gravel get stuck in the wound. Because this wound has broken layers of skin, our body's natural barrier of infection, we are then liable to harmful pathogens entering our body. First of all, if the road rash is bad or there are more pressing injuries such as broken bones, head or spinal injuries or serious or catastrophic bleeds, you would need to deal with these first. If this is not the case, then you can clean the wound and get any of the grit out. This should preferably be with an antiseptic wipe or if you're at home, you can use a sponge in the shower to ensure that it's clean. Doing this will sting as the nerve endings will already be damaged. However, that few moments of pain will be worth it to prevent a prolonged infection. If the impact with the ground was quite severe, but you are okay to go home, you may want to cover the injury site in an ice pack and in short but frequent periods, cool the wound. This will reduce swelling in the affected area and will hopefully help in a quicker recovery. Something else that can cause more pain with road rash is if something sticks to it after the blood has dried. This is normally something like clothing or your bedding. So if possible, in the day, try and keep it as exposed to the air as you can, as this aids in the healing of damaged tissues and blood vessels. If this is not possible, maybe either the wound is too big or it's in an awkward place, then you should cover it with an non-adhesive dressing and this applies at night as well so any bedding doesn't stick to it. This will allow you to cover the area while still ensuring that nothing will stick to it. Minor injuries should heal after a few days, but larger cases can take around two weeks to heal. Again, this all depends on how the accident happened and the severity of it. So closely monitor the wound, and if it's serious, seek medical help.